Okay, last time we learned how to create a pattern and we learned how to edit a pattern. Uh, so let's take a little closer look at these patterns here. So last time, before we edited the pattern, I dragged out the pattern onto the artboard here. And I told you to notice that there is, is an invisible a rectangle in the back there. Let me go into isolation mode. Let's take a look at our layers just to prove the point here. So you can see here's our circles and down here is the path. Let me select it here. So here's our invisible rectangle. Now what this rectangle does, this rectangle determines the edge of our pattern. Well, watch this. Let's make a little change here. Uh, first, let me make a rectangle and I'll fill it with this fill of our circles. Let me give it a stroke so it's easier to see the edge. Here we go. Make it a little bigger. Okay, now watch what happens. Let me go into isolation mode again. Let me grab this uh, rectangle here. I'm going to uh, modify this box here. My smart guys are going to help me out. That's like halfway, and now this should also be like halfway. Get out of isolation mode. Oh, I'm going to make a brand new pattern with this. So I'll just drag this into my swatches. Let's apply it, and let's see what happened here. Kind of get a hint of what's going to happen here by the preview. So let's click on it, and there we go. So... What happened was that invisible box here, this determined the edge of my pattern, where these edges are going to fit together. It's a good idea to take a look at some of the illustrator's built-in patterns. Uh, let's take a look at this guy here, uh, Lotus Squares. Well, let me, let's use it. So here's what it looks like when we use it. It sort of looks like an old-fashioned wallpaper. Let's get rid of this. Let me drag out the pattern onto the artboard and let's see how it was made. So you can see it looks slightly different from the fill that we just saw. Let me select it here. And here's my invisible rectangle in the back here. So you can see this is where the patterns were fitting together. When you make a pattern, you have to be sure that the edges will fit into each other. So for example, if I were to put this next to the, the left side, next to the right side, they would fit in. Same thing with top and bottom here. So we use this invisible rectangle to determine the edges of my pattern. Also, if you notice, let's go back to my original pattern here. This white area here, this is not white actually. This is, this is transparent. So if you do want to have a, a color background, you'll have to include that when you create the pattern. So if I were to drag this out here, I would have to fill up this background with the color that I want to use. Let me go into isolation mode. This was my previous invisible rectangle. Let's put a color in it, an orange. Get out of isolation mode. Uh, let's make a new pattern with this. So just drag it in, zoom out a little bit, create a rectangle, and let's fill it in with the new pattern. So now this would give us a color background. Now also, if you want to do both at the same time, watch what happens here. Let me drag this guy out. Right, we'll get rid of this. We don't need this. Let's give this a fill. So let's just give it a, let's try this dark blue fill. And now what you might expect is that this rectangle in the background here is going to go do two things for you. But let's see if that's true or not. Let's make a new pattern out of this. And now let's apply that pattern to my rectangle over here. And you can see it doesn't really work. So if you want the background box here to have a color and also define the edges of your pattern, you actually have to make another box here. So if I go into isolation mode, 
uh, click that uh, box which is now blue I'll do a control C I'm gonna do a control F so I could see what's going on a little bit better let me do a control shift right bracket bring it to the front and now I'm gonna make this no stroke and no fill and let me send it all the way to the back so I'll do control shift left bracket let's get out of isolation mode so here's the last one that we made let's edit it select this guy drag it on top of the pattern we want to edit hold the alt key or the option key on the Mac wait till you see the black frame and then let go so there we go so now that worked out one box is giving us the color background and the other invisible box is defining the edge of our pattern okay so that's it for today so now you know the basics of creating a pattern and the secret is just trying to make sure that the edges will line up together sort of like a puzzle piece when you put them together okay so, see you soon. Bye-bye.